Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we are going to make a smart water level indicator using the ESP32 and the Blink IoT. Here you can see I have used a waterproof ultrasonic sensor to measure the water level, but you can use any other ultrasonic sensor. It will measure the water level and you can monitor it on the OLED. And if the ESP32 connected with the Wi-Fi, you can monitor the water level from anywhere in the world in the Blink IoT app. And for the low water level, you will get a blink notification and also the alarm will start. And there are also some other features. And as you can see, I have made the complete circuit on the Zero PCB. And using this layout, you can also easily design this complete circuit on the Zero PCB. Now before going to the details, let me show you how this project works. Now we will quickly test this circuit. You can see the water level percentage on this OLED and the blink IoT app. Now the water level is slowly increasing, here you can see. Now the tank is full. I can also press this button to reset the buzzer. Now whenever the water level reduce, you can see the related percentage on the OLED. And when the level drop down below 10%, you can see now the level percentage is 7%. I got a notification in the Blink IoT app low water level and I can also see the value and the green LED turns on. Now whenever the water level increase the buzzer will stop automatically. You can also stop it from this button. These are the required components for this project. You can either use this SR04 ultrasonic sensor or you can also use this waterproof ultrasonic sensor as we are going to use this sensor inside the water tank. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. For this circuit, if you want to use AC supply, then you have to use this AC to DC converter. Otherwise, you can directly give 5 volt supply to the circuit. For this project, we are going to use this waterproof ultrasonic sensor, but you can also use this ultrasonic sensor as per this circuit. Now before designing a PCB for this project, I have made the complete circuit on breadboard for testing. After that, I have made a PCB for this project using the Altium PCB designer software. In Altium, it is very easy to search for any components compare the datasheet and accordingly use that component in your circuit. And Altium has also lot of useful tools which will save you a lot of time while routing any PCB. And there are lot of free tutorials available on Altium and the user interface is so simple. You can easily learn this software and use it to design professional PCBs. And we all know Altium is the most trusted PCB designer software by most of the electronic companies. So if you want, you can download the free trial version of the Altium software from the description and use it to design professional PCBs. This is the PCB for this project. You can download the PCB Garba file from the video description. But in this video, we will make the complete circuit on this Zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. Now you can also download this PCB layout for this project from the video description. And here I have also mentioned the grid on this layout which will help you to make the circuit on this Zero PCB. First, I will place this layout on this Zero PCB. Then with the help of a light, I can easily match the grid with the hole on the Zero PCB. After that, I have to cut the Zero PCB as per the size. Now I will paste this layout on the Zero PCB using a glue. As you can see, I have placed the layout on the Zero PCB. Now with the help of a light, I can easily identify the hole. Then with the help of this tool, I can make a hole on this layout. So it will help me to place the component on the layout. Now I will place all the components one by one on the Zero PCB. Now you have to solder all these components on this Zero PCB. As you can see, we have placed all the components on this Zero PCB. Now with the help of this layout, we can easily connect all the components as per the circuit.
after soldering i will connect the esp32 oled and as i said you can use this ultrasonic sensor or you can also use waterproof ultrasonic sensor now we will connect the esp32 with a laptop for programming before programming the esp32 first we have to configure the blink cloud now here first we will create a template so i will click on new template give a name to this template then hardware will be sp32 connection type will be wi-fi now i will click on done now we will go to data stream and click on new data stream select the virtual pin for the first data stream i will give the name water level it will show the water level in percentage then in a pin i will select v1 in the unit i will select percentage as it will show the value in percentage minimum value will be zero maximum value will be 100 and data type will be integer now i will click on create now i will again click on new data stream select the virtual pin for the next data stream i will give the name distance in the pin i will select v2 data type will be string now click on create now i will go to automation and here i will turn on these two radio button and in the type of automation i will select sensor then i will go to web dashboard and here i will drag and drop level widget and one gauge widget then i will tap on the setting icon on the gauge widget then select the data stream water level then i will click on save then go to setting of the level widget and here i will type distance and i will select the data stream v2 then i will click on save so our web dashboard is ready now i will click on save now we have to add a device using this template so let me go to my device so i have to click here then click on new device then select from template select the template name and you can also give the device name i'm keeping as it is now click on create now if i go to device info you can get the authentication token here so now we can move to the coding part of this project this is the source code for this project you can download this code from our website iotcircuithub.com just visit the article you can find the link in the description then you can download the code from this button now let me open this code for this project you have to install the esp32 board and these are the required libraries i have also mentioned the version for each library so please install this version only after that you have to enter the template id device name and authentication token so let me go to blink account i will just click here to copy all these details then here i will paste it then here i have to enter the wi-fi name and the password now this is the most important part for this project the empty tank distance is the distance between the sensor and the bottom of the tank if the tank is empty and the full tank distance is the distance between sensor and the water level when the tank is full so first you have to measure both this distance in centimeter then define these two value here then you have to define the trigger percentage here i have mentioned 10 which indicates when the water level in the tank drop down below 10 percent you will get a low water level notification in blink iot app also the alarm will start and the green led will turn on so you can define any value like 20 percent 5 percent as per your requirement and one important point you will get the reading on oled only if the distance between the sensor and the water level is between these two value as we are measuring the water level so the water level distance must be between the empty tank and the full tank distance otherwise it will ignore all the rest value and you will not get any reading on blink and oled so please measure this distance properly then mention the distance in centimeter after doing these changes you can directly upload this code to esp32 just go to tools select the board do it esp32 dev kit v1 then select the proper port then hit the upload button after programming you can see this blue led is glowing which indicates the esp32 is connected with the wi-fi 
so now i will quickly configure the blink iot app let me open the app then i will tap on the device psp32 water level then i will go to edit mode and tap on this plus icon so first i will add a gauge widget so let me resize the gauge widget then again i will go to widget box and now i will add a level widget just to show the distance between the sensor and water level now i will tap on the first gauge widget select the data stream water level v1 then i will tap on the level widget and here i will select the distance data stream which is connected with the v2 so our dashboard is ready let me exit from the edit mode now i will add a automation so that whenever the water level drop down below 10 percent i should get a notification on mobile app so let me exit from the dashboard now i'll tap on automation then tap on add automation then select device state and select the device then i will tap on this data stream name here i will select is lower than or equal to then here i will enter 10 as i want notification when the water level drop down below 10 percent you can give any other value as per your requirement now i will tap on done then i have to add action so i will tap on add action then if you want email then you can tap on send an email here i want just a notification so i will tap on in-app notification then enter the custom message in the message i will type water level below 10 percent now i will tap on done then again i will tap on done now here you can give the name of the automation you can give any other name now i will tap on done so here you can see our automation created now if you want to use ac supply then you have to give the ac supply across these two pin then it will convert it to 5 volt dc but if you want to use direct 5 volt you can connect the 5 volt across these two pin and across these two pin you have to connect the buzzer now our auto level indicator is ready now i'm going to install it as you can see here i have used a waterproof ultrasonic sensor for this sensor the range starts from 25 centimeter so make sure the distance between the water level and the sensor must be greater than 25 centimeter and now we can also monitor the reading on the oled and the blink iot app so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends you can also follow us on our instagram you can find a link in the description thank you for watching have a great day